I think one key would be the willingness that we have to have to be a messy church. And it's quite difficult. It's easier to talk about than it is to live because as Christians, we rightly believe in a holiness culture. But that holiness culture can mitigate against messy mission. It's not that we don't get excited if, if um, overtly naughty people show up. The problem is if they stay and if they don't get themselves sorted out really rather quickly. And then if they don't, people start to panic and say, well, we're, we're dropping our standards and we start to become a club for the like-minded and the outwardly together rather than a messy people who are journeying together with all of our fragilities and fault lines that still exist in the ongoing process of, of transformation, sanctification. So I think that willingness to be messy, when we had a whole group of people join our church who were very, very messy, the church then had to make a decision. Are we going to stay being looking respectable? Are we going to risk our reputation? And uh, forgive me for putting it perhaps simplistically, but doing it the Jesus way, where you end up risking the ire of religious people in order to reach those who need a physician. So messy church has been a huge key.